Yeah, so HER2 positive breast cancer, we've seen some tremendous advances over the past five years. And I think the pivotal ones are really uh, understanding that HER2 Abbott disease requires ongoing suppression of the HER2 receptor. And, um, and I think that has been a significant advance. And so we know that continued blockade of the HER2 receptor, whether it's through an antibody or through a tyrosine kinase inhibitor, is needed. Um, probably the second big advance has been the incorporation of pertuzumab in the first-line setting based on the Cleopatra results, uh, which have shown improvement in progression-free survival and a significant improvement in overall survival as well. And, um, and along with that, we've also learned that we can use an antibody drug conjugate, TDM1, in the second line and beyond setting, again showing an improvement in PFS and overall survival. So when we start um, collecting uh, all the evidence and now putting it into clinical practice, we can expect the median survival for patients with HER2 positive breast cancer now to exceed five years. So it's been a pretty dramatic improvement over the past five years or so. There's still uh, some critical issues that we need to address. One is how do we target and how do we address patients who develop brain metastases in metastatic breast cancer. That's a common challenging uh, concern that we have. And the second is, you know, how long do patients really need to be treated for when we're giving these therapies, which are expensive treatments. And um, for now, we're giving it till progression, but there's many patients who are doing really well with a complete response, and do we need to continue that on until progression? I think that's uh, something that needs to be addressed with ongoing studies.